Multiplying by a three-digit number on the bottom is no different than multiplying by a two-digit number on the bottom. The only difference is that for every digit that you add, you add another zero for every level that you drop down underneath. So, I'll show you. Going through like an early wood, we first start in the ones column. We got three times three, we know is nine. Three times four is twelve. Two, carry my one. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 1 is 25, 5, carry my 2. 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17, 7, carry my 1. 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So we can all agree that the first level is done. I like to go ahead and just mark out the number that I've used, and then also take care of the numbers that I've carried so they do not get confused with the next number. I now drop the level and add one zero. We do that because if you look here, it's the second place value spot or the tens column over. I now multiply in the tens column. Two times three is six. Two times four is eight. Two times eight is sixteen. Six carry my one. Five times two is ten plus one is eleven. 1 carry my 1 and 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Okay, second number done. Again, marking it out, taking care of the numbers I've carried. We are now in the hundreds column, which is three spots over. So therefore, we add 0 for a level, 0 for the next level, and now we start here. Multiply like we normally would. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4, 1 times 8 is 8, 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 3 is 3. At this point, all multiplying has been finished and is complete. All that's left to do now is to add up all of my numbers and then do the decimal spots. So 9 plus 0 is 9, 6 plus 2 is 8. Um, 8 plus 3 is 11, plus 5 is 16, 6 carry my 1, and then I've got 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 6 is 14, plus 4 is 18, 8 carry my 1, 8, 1, 1 is 10, 0 carry my 1, 7, 8, 9, plus 5 is 14, 4 carry the 1, and then 3 plus 1 is 4. I now go back to my number, original number, and circle any number to the right of the decimal, one and two, two decimal spots. Therefore, you start here and go one, two, decimal nice and big, for a total of 44,086 and 89 hundredths. Keep in mind that one of the big things that you need to be sure that you uh, keep in mind is that the more numbers that we add together, the easier it is for your place value columns to get out of whack here. So make sure that you keep it nice and neat um, and nice straight lines so that you don't make those silly computational errors um, as you are multiplying.